In this movie, I'm going to show you how you can extract stills from a movie file using Photoshop CC. I'll apologise firstly for sucking a sweet. I keep having mad coughing fits. This is the third attempt at this movie. So, you've got your Photoshop file open. I've set mine up to be the same dimensions as my movie, 128720. Makes sense to me because then I know what I'm working with. It's not crucial that it's the same size as your movie dimensions. In your new Photoshop file, go to the file menu, place linked commands. You can use place embedded but I can't see the point really. So I'm going to choose place linked and go and find a movie file. I'll go with pig on cushion, why not? Select it, click the place button, in it goes. You can either click the tick button at the top of your screen or hit your return key to place that file in. So to be able to see that movie, you need to access the Photoshop timeline panel. And if it's not visible, go to your window menu and choose timeline. Your timeline might look exactly like this with create frame animation visible or it may have create video timeline visible. You need to make sure you've got create video timeline. If it isn't, click the little triangle to the right of the button and choose create video timeline from that drop down. Then click the create video timeline button. You'll see your video in the timeline panel and you can just check it either clicking the play button in the left hand side of the timeline panel, that will play at actual speed. If you want to have a look what you've got more quickly, you can use the timeline indicator bar to scrub through. So I'm just going to try and remove any extra video that I don't need to, to work with. There's a second and a half or so at the beginning of this image where the pig's not spinning round. So I'm going to just position my timeline indicator at the point that that just before that starts spinning so that I can crop that movie clip by moving my cursor to the left of the movie clip in the timeline panel until it turns to a double headed arrow cursor and then I can drag that clip to clip it to clip it I'm going to move it across to zero by dragging it and then I'm going to scrub through with my timeline indicator to the end. And there's a second or so at the end that I don't need. So I'm going to leave my timeline indicator in position and just crop the end of that video by dragging that right hand side in. So that's my video of my pig on a cushion rotating around 360 degrees. I'm ready to actually export some files out from it. So in the timeline panel menu at the top right corner of the timeline panel, you'll need to choose the render video command. Now the first time you choose that, it's quite likely that it will say Adobe Media Encoder in the render video panel. The first thing to do is to actually change that from the drop down to say Photoshop image sequence. Then the next logical thing to do is give the image sequence a name. So I'm just going to call this pig on cushion. And go and find a folder to put those files into. So I'm going to click the select folder button and go to my desktop and create a new folder called pig on cushion stills and I'll click create and choose that folder and there's that path to it indicated to the left hand side of that select folder button Now the format I'm going to use is JPEG, but you can choose some others from that drop-down menu, PNG, TIFF, etc. With JPEG, I'm going to check the JPEG settings so that I can decide what quality I want that to be. 
I'll leave it at eight. And then you could change the document size of each of those images here if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now it's quite likely that again um, you might have some default frame rate values in your render video window 24 25 who, kn who knows but basically the lower the frames per second that you put the less images you're going to end up with and I'm going to go right down as low as one frame per second so I'll get a new JPEG file for every one second of that movie all that remains for me to do is click the render button off Photoshop goes and if we have a look now I'll just go to my finder onto my desktop you'll see in my pig um, cushion stills folder I've got a series of 17 images of that pig rotating around the screen area it's as simple as that. Hope you found that helpful.